ready to oh, push it in. It. They got it. They got it. They got it. Oh! What the? It was Sunset weird. Sunset flickering for it, and he dies. The five times the way Carvey needs to get out of there. And Marcel says no. One one does not go down. He is the leader of his people. So and he can... is going to save them all. Are they going to disengage? No! no. The pull back by the implosion. It's going to be able to find three. Make it four. Oh, my goodness. Let's end. And now Zorn and Warlord, they're trying to make sure that Gifam stays in their own lane. Oh, Zorn! Rage is on! Marky just falls down. Zorn continues to annoy the enemy troops, but now they go back. Team Homeboys takes two to one in exchange. Wow. They finding Marky was perfect for Homeboys. Additional pickoff. The Poloiski right now is not having a great time. 0 3 and 1. Now, fast player one, spatial migration on the Magister, and Hoon is able to hit the Mystic Gush. Now the immortality is up. Hoon gets a kill, but Game Bomba forces a damage onto Zia, and Corby shuts down Zia. And Sunset Lover gets a kill onto Milo. This is a very big mistake. Best player one, you gotta keep your health. You can't oh. secure his Lord, but this yeah. move, they can get the kill. Oh, Hoon they're trying to he survived! He got the ward! And Super Shark's gonna go down! Sunset Lover taking the all, taking the kill. How can you miss that retreat? Quick reset, so Geek Farmer now have a chance and actually gonna be the one to initiate it. What? They just uh. vote. Let's see if they can get a little bit of control again. The ultimate of the Minotaur uh -oh. is on the Valentina. Oh, Bolojski has brought Kit Bomba all the way to the back right now with the Minotaur. Oh! Really protects that! Raging Ooh! Sandstorm, another knockup of first blood. Now, going to be able to get taken out, but Magistor is looking for the re-engage. Has the decimate reset already. Look at the back, looking for Sunset Lover. One more hit. He slashes him down. It's two to one. Magister unable to utilize the reset on that ultimate. They are asking, actually they are kind of demanding Team Rimus goes to oh. deliver or like to leave that oh, second Oh, final phase. slash Ooh. from Carbon finds Vanix and now Jay. Jay has to use the Minuit Fury. But Vanix gets targeted out, but Nico is going to get taken down, same as Carbon. They start oh. the match, but Team Flash, they're ending it. Blinks goes down as well, triple kill for Vanix. Ouch, 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 triple kill. Dude, Jay is playing on fire, man. Carbon had no opportunity to actually flicker on out of there. You might be in some trouble here. Whoa. He takes a bit of damage, just chunk down below half and Boxy the King. Again, they need to start making sure that they keep timers on when Boxy the King actually uses that Divine Judgment. It's dangerous, but it's also a linchpin for CU soon. Yeah, paying attention to that, the timing there. Oh, Ooh. might initiate. Yep, they go with the Blaze. He went so far. Netherrealm has already been called out as the Astro Echoes calls the rest of the team. The final slash comes on Good. through, allowing. Ooh. Sorry, I'm feeling it all, but Boots stops the rest of the follow up with a Raging Sandstorm. They find a kill back with the help of Sands and Boots. Goes down Kyrie now with a spatial migration, wow. finds a double kill with the help of the Violent Requiem. That's going to be four down for nothing. Man, again, and it, it, like, it looks like it might go in the way of CS2, and then all of a sudden, smack comes on it. Intuitive, as homeboys will keep on going, right? Look at Warlord. He's proc the Demonic Force so many times, and they should be able to take this away free. Oh, oh the stun! No, the Unlucky! Get Bomba nails it! Final Slash does it connect as the implosion locks him down. It's a mistake. Warlord finds Kim Bomba, and now with a penalty zone, it ain't enough to stop them as Jimmy is trying to slow them down. Netherrealm is already down. As we see Warlord trying to clean this up, it's not easy. Rizel's already dead. Carpy's still alive. He's still making the play. Warlord is able to find one! Stop dashing! Just walk away from him! He won't let you run away at all! Warlord, oh, he's done ultimate. for. And now that's a four for two oh, trade oh, oh, oh. as Magister breaks open tier two. Still there to make sure that he's safe. Sans here standing menacingly in wow. front, and now they're going for the mid. Circling Eagle right. to the back. Tars having a good oh. time. The Requiem comes in with the final slash. He's going to be canceled out. Boots right. gets a delayed. Sano now going to be gunned down. The Blazing yeah, Duet. CW picks up the kill. Meanwhile, in the back, that same thing happens. Oh. Sans is godlike oh. on the Egyptian. Sans, what are you on, man? No. Oh. Oh. Absolutely lethal. That's a Paris revenge against Boots. Able to escape, but Kyrie finds another. Wow. And Assange, who is legendary, another. Finally, he gets punished. Oh my goodness.
Turtle two times in a row. They want to start capitalizing on real structures, and it's the bottom side that they start with a dive. And Nether Realm is going to protect Ryzel. Underneath the tar, the dive has been thwarted. Ohio Brothers move away as Mielo getting attacked by two on the top side. Shibi looking for the opportunity, but that Vengeance is going to keep him alive through the electrifying oh. beast. Mielo still taking them on one by one. Somebody needs to take him out. Regeneration Ooh. keeps him alive. <laughs> Mielo walks away. The Shibi is not going to let him go. The is it up and no! It's going to be the most in sight. Mielo 2v1 successful. That's why we call him the GOAT of <laughs> NATOP. Once again, they successfully dive underneath the tier two. Ryzel is dead. That Petrify put into good use. We are inside the base. Look at Onyx. They will see now that Joy is trying to prevent the minions from coming in. It's just one inhibitor turret away from falling apart. Well, Keyboy is just Ooh, one flicker nice. away from doing something amazing. Super Opa is trying to deal so uh, much damage, but look at the back line. Look at here. Oh my look God. at Keyboy. Look at Team Onyx. They are punishing. Team BTR to the limit. No one can do anything at this Ooh. moment. CW with the Triple King looking for that maniac that can be offered, but Boots say no. Boots just says no. Onyx team with the dominant game. Team BTR are looking for a miracle, but their voices cannot grow. With the second half of the spatial migration. All right, so now it's come to a point where Black's International are capable of overloading Apex. Apex was isolated, given that he was given the job to clear out his possible hiding spots for Black. Because again, I think Fireflux Esports felt it. Yo, Black is just looking for a kill squad. Now, Apex is in the middle of it. Now, Whoa. Apex takes out Oh heaven. What? Guys, it's a double as well! Alien and Sunshine! Oh. Suzui! They are just chucking them out, and Suzui's the next to fall! They sniffed them out! They ripped them from the roots, and Renegade is off the run! Give it to him, man. I mean, oh. Renegade ain't gonna let it happen just yet. Run his life for hire! To further set you back in what you're trying to do, crawl back into this game at this point. Now, 12,000 gold behind at the 17 minute mark. This is where Onik is going to force it, punch it in, and possibly end it here as the Lord makes its way into the base. Yep, they've lost all their inhibitor turrets here. This might be an end game scenario as now we see that CW, he's got to be careful, right? Even though he does have the BMI in a safe spot, he is nervous about Boxy the King. He could really turn this around for them. They can harass for as long as they want, but as long as there's that counter, uh, counter engage ability from the side of CU soon, oh. there's always the possibility. Kyrie is going to make it the oh. attempt. Keyboy starts things oh. off. Flickers in hard. The Nether Rebel is going to protect him. Keyboy ends up losing his immortality. Oh. And now they're laying everything. Throwing the kitchen sink as well. It's going to be the sad storm. God, that keeps Boots alive immediately after the quicks and after the ult. It's too nasty. They can't do much about it. And Sand has done enough to put them in the dirt. See you soon. Drop the game. Yo, Faramis, can you do so much about this? It's so difficult. And look at their lanes, it will be managed by Sepat. It is more than enough. Oh, they cut three lanes. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, this is it's not the best. Sunset Lover, it's all, he's all by himself here. Homeboys getting ready to oh, push it in. Tanking. They got it. They got it. They got it. Oh! What the? It was Sunset weird. flickered for it and he dies to buy oh, time! Weird. He does it and takes oh, out my TV! God. What a defense! What a play oh. in a decision from Sunset Lover. The, the mistake was they attracted two lanes. Oh. They went in, in front of the base too soon. No! They have been doing that in the past two minutes. They're slicing and dissecting Blackness International, forcing them to disperse and have the advantage now. And right here, we see oh. a lot of pressure from top lane. Heavy spin, the perfect dispersion. Oh, They're going to get one. Oh, Hep gets popped. The Hitman far away from home. Big OCC, top lane. Black International scrambling. Whoa. Team SMG not going to go down so quickly. They're underneath the base. We're going to game three. We're going to game three. Oh, my God. Still moving under about how they should be like grouping up together, forming their box, and just destroying homeboys. Okay. okay. Well, I mean, they can try, but the implosion are around. Okay. Uh, final slash pushing them away 
from a GB. He's buying a lot of time. Netherrealm even being popped as Ryzel finds Sabo walking oh. away from that fight. Kiboba has chucked out his force and now it's an all in. Ryzel gets sunset. Magister kills Optorn as he's trying to slide tackle away. Carpe needs to get oh out of there. Ryzel says no. One one does not go down. He is the leader of his people and he continues to press forward. Is this not the most Malaysian draft ever? <laughs> I don't know. Going back to it again. Is out the least is the one who comes out and then it's a game of inches from there. Something to know, check out Apex 47, Rock and the Quantum Charge. He can use the movement speed boost to reposition for a better implosion. Speaking of which, Edward comes in but quickly attacked by the penalty zone. Time Journey is going to save them all. Now, are they going to disengage? No! no! The pullback by the implosion is going to be able to find three, make it four! Oh my goodness! What a play coming in for Fire Flux Esports so early on. The biggest play of M5 so far. That's four on the board. Apex 47, what did Leo tell you guys? Don't count this man out. The timing, the layering, the baiting of the time journey. Oh, it was perfect.